السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته friends welcome back to my channel in my last video while working on this 1000 watt audio amplifier for channel we repaired this power supply section there was a problem that this transistor was damaged it was this board was not producing power at DC rail so it have a plus and minus power supply to power up our audio power amplifier in this board one transistor was disconnected from this board if we check this board visual inspection we can see these components are damaged burned out many of the components here in the mid power amplifier these are damaged how we can trace a circuit when we don't have any circuit diagram it is uh, my own experience I try to share the sequence how I take approach to enter in the circuit to understand the circuit because it is a best practice to understand the circuit not repair the circuit if we repair the circuit okay we can replace okay one two three transistors okay this is damaged might be this component is bad I can say this transistor is damaged might be this four five six transistors are damaged but why these are damaged if you go to diagnose the reason why that time our work is perfect so let's see the circuit when we see any circuit it have three things output control section and input section input section will provide any kind of signal which we want to process from this processor it will process and then it will provide to output section and output section will provide our required result to power up this circuit we need a power supply this will apply power here here and here then it will drive the load so we will see this power amplifier if we check here this is the power supply section then we have the input section and the control section if we see here this circuit is totally separate it is connected just only by these jumpers there is no any other component connected between these two sections so here the power supply and the signals will travel through these jumpers we can see from this line to this side and this side there is no component connected this side is separate this side is separate so here is input terminal here is output terminal now we will enter from output terminal let's see the print on the output terminals we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 front left front right rear left rear right every pin have positive and negative marking so that means it will provide a separate drive to each speaker now we can check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 we have eight connections here here is one terminal two terminal three terminal and four four terminals are connected to same point that is common and if we trace back here it is here then here and if we see from this point it have jumper so it is reaching to center point of the capacitors 
we have two capacitors here one end of the capacitor negative and the second is positive end here so we can see here we have output terminal the negative terminal if we trace back here in the power supply section positive negative positive negative so the center point that is common for four speakers and if we check this pin it is reaching here and it is jumpered with this point and if we see in the other side we have jumpers here one two three four five six two jumpers for common and one jumper for each line and if we trace back each jumper this jumper from this pin it is reaching here then jumpered here then it is reaching to this line and if we trace the second jumper this one here it is reaching here to this transistor set this line is coming here second line is coming here and if we check this side it is reaching here to these two transistors and if we check this line this is reaching here at these two transistors so we have four sections and four outputs now we can see in each section we have two power transistors one two one two each section it have its own control section second one third and fourth now if we see the transistor pair how it is configured we have this one power supply here that is negative power supply so negative power supply is reaching here at this point then here then it is reaching to the first transistor and the last transistor that is here and if we check this power supply this positive it is reaching to this transistor and this transistor so two transistors are supplied with positive supply and two with negative supply I will draw just only one section it is D998 D998 and it is 2SD and second is B7 2SB 778 2SB 778 so 2SB 778 it is P and P transistor and D778 it is NPN transistor so here is D998 D998 collector is connected to this capacitor that is here it is positive terminal so D998 collector is connected to positive voltage let me connect this transistor here NPN so NPN this end is connected to positive voltage so it will good it will give us some good look and if we see here B778 and D998 so this is connected here and this is connected to negative terminal this transistor is connected to negative terminal that is here this is connected to positive terminal and this one it is reaching here then here now if we check this point this first section 
here, here. It is reaching here at this point. The first pin that is connected to this section. And if you check the second section, that is this line, this is the output section. Here. If any jumper, any point it have disconnection, we will not find continuity. This is now the output point. And if we see supply point, this end, it is coming from this capacitor positive terminal. And if we check this one, this emitter, it is coming from this transistor. From here, jumper here, here we have jumper. This line is reaching here, here, then this jumper is here and it is reaching to this capacitor negative terminal. In the collector we have one resistor. Then these are connected here and this point is reaching to output. Output positive. This is for one speaker. Here it will receive signal. We have this signal. We will troubleshoot it step by step. In one cycle, the positive half cycle, one transistor will work. That is NPN. In negative cycle, when the cycle will go in negative peak, this transistor will switch. So we can say this push-pull amplifier. It is now in push-pull configuration because here we have positive voltage. When this transistor will switch at that time this positive voltage will come here and it will go to the output load. And our speaker coil is here and it will move in one direction. The diaphragm will move in one direction. When the negative peak will come at that time this transistor will switch at that time this will turn off it will cut off why because that time the base will in off state it will work in on state negative peak will reach here and it will switch positive peak will reach here and it will switch so anytime if the signal is below the zero level it will turn on above the zero line it will turn on so these will switch opposite to each other. If any time this transistor is damaged, what will happen? For example, this transistor becomes short circuit here. For example, our this transistor becomes short circuit here. Now what will happen? It will not respond to signal, but it will allow positive voltage to reach at this terminal. When this transistor will turn on at that time it will give an easiest path to this accumulated voltage on these capacitors. So it will become a reason to heat up. It will give direct direct signal. If both transistors will become short circuit If this transistor is damaged, what will happen now? These negative voltage from here will move through these resistors to this capacitor. At that time, the power supply will trip off. The power supply will turn off. It will make fluctuation. Whatsoever, the fuse will burn out and these two resistors will heat up badly. If one transistor is damaged, the second will heat up and its related circuit, the base driver network will damage. So we will continue step by step. Now I will apply power and we will check the voltage on these capacitors. When we apply power, 
we have ground line that is return side and we have positive and remote on command we will give positive 12 volt here now the LED is powered on and it is green light that means the circuit is working when we work on power supply when we work on any board what we need to check we need to check the power supply first step it is 30 volt we can see When I connect to this capacitor, it makes sparking. Let me give some closer view. It has bad soldering here. If we have bad soldering, there is a sparking sign that means it will not allow to work the circuit properly at that time we need to remove the solder not solder, solder it again we need to remove the solder clean it properly if there is any corrosion because if it is already damaged now if we apply load on this board this time it is giving 30 volt and the capacitor is now charged if we put load on this board at that time it will not allow to work the circuit properly power supply must be stable it should not have any fluctuation any variation now set to AC voltage when we verify the power supply check the AC millivolt if there are some AC millivolt on the capacitor that time that power supply will produce noise this time we have this problem here now we need to desolder it and resolder it again and we will continue in our next session to check the circuit